hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so a friend of mine recently suggested me to do this makeup look inspired by uh, jennifer winget in the uh, tv show behad and i decided to do that look including a hair tutorial as well so i started off with doing my eyebrows and yes i kept forgetting things to bring to the uh, filming area and then i decided to clean up my eyebrows with that concealer from Col uh, color essence so it would uh, make my eyebrows pop even more and then just blending it all out with my finger and then I'm going to use this baby lips on my lips uh, so that I could prep it for the lipstick that I'm going to use later and I wanted this look to be really natural but really flawless and I'm not going to be using a lot of makeup and yeah I forgot to use my moisturizer and that's why I had to wipe the concealer off and then I use this Lakme peach milk to moisturize my face and then I had to be just really careful because I had done my brows first so I had to be really careful around them and then after applying that moisturizer I'm going to go ahead and apply this concealer from color essence under my eyes over my lids and all the other imperfections that I have on my face I'm just blending it all out with my finger so the coverage is really full and I don't move the product as much that's why I'm using my finger and then I'm going to use this L'Oreal infallible foundation and I'm just going to apply it randomly all over my face like that and since it's a matte foundation why do I keep and end, uh, end up buying matte foundations when I love dewy and glowy makeup I don't know so anyway I'm going to use two drops of this almond oil and I'm just spreading it all out with this big uh, buffing brush and just quickly blending it all out eventually and it gave me a really flawless on and really um, very nice coverage I really like this foundation along with the almond oil of course because I like a dewy finish to my skin and then I'm going to use this concealer palette, powder concealer palette and using that shade on the outer perimeters of my face because it's a little dark and I'm just going to use that on my neck as well and then I'm going to use this Maybelline compact on the centers or center part of my face and then I'm going to bronze my face up with this very me peach me powder and mixed with this uh, dark shade from that same powder palette I really like this bronze look and then I'm using that same brush to apply a little bit of blush on my cheeks and then I'm powdering my eyelids right here and I'm using this LA girl nudes palette and I'm applying this white shade all over my eyelids and under my eyes as well and then I'm going to use that same bronzer to create a shadow on my crease line using a smaller blending brush and I'm looking down on the uh, mirror and I'm just applying it over my crease line and then I'm going to pick up this dark shade from uh, the LA girl palette and I'm going to apply it just below that crease line really roughly and then I'm using this shimmery shade all over my eyelids it's a very low-key um, eye, uh, eye look that you can actually wear every day and then I'm using that shimmery shade another shimmery shade in my inner corners from that same palette and now I'm going to tight line my eyes because I was not going to do a wing or anything that's why I tight lined my eyes and applied a ton of mascara first I used this uh, mascara by Avon and then just coated, uh, coated it up with this blue heaven mascara and for my lips I just applied some more baby lips and I used this brush to apply this Miss Claire lip cream all over my lips I just wanted a little tint that's why I used a brush and then I'm taking my hair out from this ponytail and then I'm just creating a center part sent in a side part and I'm going to be braiding this side and I'm pinning the bangs away from my face and then I'm going to take a small section and divide it into three sections further and just going to braid it all and after every step I'm going to add a little bit of hair to the uh, back section and I'm going to continue doing that 
until I reach the very end at the back of my head and I'm just pulling the braid out to make it look more um, messy and then I'm just going to pin it away and we're going to work with that later and now I'm just going to straighten this bang and yes I'm just pulling the braids out to look at, uh, make it look more messy and then just randomly straightening my hair you don't have to be really precise I just wanted some um, straight hair and then I'm just um, back combing my hair and then I'm just going to pin this bang section away from my face and I'm going to tie all the hair in a low ponytail like that along with the braid that we just made and for this front section I'm going to uh, hold it between two of my fingers and I'm just going to roll it away like that and I'm just going to pin it on top of that ponytail that we just made and then I'm going to use the back section of this comb and I'm just going to pull my hair up to create more volume on the crown section of my head and yes that is the finished look I really hope you like this look and if you did then please please uh, click on the thumbs up button and please subscribe to my channel and yes I'll see you in my next video bye